Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today what we're going to be covering is how to merge your workspaces together and it's pretty straightforward stuff. Now there is some notes that I want to make and before we get started because there's a couple things that you need to do beforehand and that's actually go into your mod workspace and then go to workspace settings and right down here where it says package name and namespace so you want to make sure that these two things are basically the exact same as the the workspace that you're going to be merging into so it's important to make sure the namesa namespace is the same so when you do merge it over it will have the proper files in the right folders and stuff like that. After you're done setting that just make sure to click save and you're good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to export shareable zip right down here and then we're just going to save that to our desktop and I'm just going to edit label it number one so I can easily find it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to extract all and then we're going to extract all to a number one folder and then what we have is our basic setup for our structure. Now if you did name your namespace to the same namespace you won't have the same issue but if you go under main uh, source main resources and then assets and then you'll have an, a specific namespace folder for what your mod is now if it's a different namespace then it will not properly merge with your assets make sure that this is the same namespace and then you have all your resources textures things like that so our texture for our bottoms here uh, there is our models so our models for the block and block states and stuff like that. So that's basically where everything goes. And then there's Java, Net, M Creator, and then the namespace again. And then the, I believe the elements and actual mod files. So those are, we basically need to copy the, uh, the source, the elements, and we need to update this particular file. So now that we know where it is, let's go into the other workspace. So merging workspace, test, and then what we're going to do is actually copy these two files right here. And now given that you haven't over like branched off from your workspace, you're merging into it without with different file names. Uh, what you would want to do is just basically paste these particular folders in here and click replace. And what it will do is it will just update the files in those particular folders so it merges them. That's only half the work. Now we actually have to open up this particular run file, the mcreator dot or the mod dot mcreator file, and then we're going to open up with Notepad. Now there's a few different uh, settings in here that you want to pay attention to. There is the mod elements tab right here there is id maps or id map which has its own settings and then there is variable elements sound elements language map so these are different languages and stuff like that and then you have your basic uh, information for your workspace settings and stuff down here so what we need to actually do is copy anything that is expanded and has values. So in our case, we have a language map for our block, and we also have some settings for mod uh, elements. So we have to copy those into our other thing. So let's open up our workspace that we just mer merged everything into for our settings. And then we're going to open this one with Notepad++. And as you can see, we have a little bit of different settings. This one is called Hive, uh, where this one is called Block. So what we need to do is actually just copy the part where this part right here, where it has the um, curly bracket. And then what we would want to do is do comma so we can add on to the other one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the mod elements 
and then we're going to paste that for well, that's variable elements we don't actually have any secondary variable elements so we're just going to put a comma under the mod elements one it's really important to make sure that you're putting it under the right spot so make sure you do that and then we're just going to basically drop that particular element there. If you have multiple elements just make sure to add a comma before you paste the rest of it in and just add it to the bottom of the list. And then what we have is our language map. So in our case we only have uh, the English translation so what we need to do is basically just add a comma here, go down one, and then what we're going to do is basically copy this part right here from our block and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste that after the comma right here and you don't need the comma at the last one because that's not proper JSON format you just need it to basically separate separate the entries so once we have that uh, we have basically copied over all the settings that we have that we need in these areas right here and now we can basically save this one and we can go ahead and just open up our mod elements so the one that we just merged and we should have a untextured block right here so if everything's gone properly and you've uh, followed the steps exactly then you should have a block right here now all you need to do to fix that, your resources should be already imported. So all you need to do is go to this little button on the right hand side where this little orange icon is and you just need to uh, regenerate the code. Everything will take, everything will generate automatically and assign the textures and properties that it are needed. So that's all there is to it, just to show you that it does work. I'll start up the game and then we'll basically uh, take a look at both of the blocks. So outside of that, it's a pretty straightforward way of doing it. Um, you don't need too much to do with the copying and pasting. The most complicated part is actually making sure that the namespace is the proper one and also copying over uh, the files from or the settings from one uh, mcrater file to the other. So let's start up just a regular creative world. And we'll take a quick look at the two blocks that we basically merged into this one workspace. Okay, so if we go to blocks, scroll down to the bottom, I think it's under one of these tabs. Yeah, here we go. We have a block for the one that we basically merged, and then we also have the hive block. Whoop. The hive block that is the alternate one. So these are the two blocks that we basically merged. Um, well, the block one right here is the one that we merged, and then the honey block is the one that we had already in the, in the workspace. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would really help. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.